You have to understand that the monographs program are a program of hazard identification. That is the question, can it cause cancer in humans under some circumstances? Now your question is more to the question of risk assessment. What is the risk, say, in low dose exposure if you use it rarely in your garden? Most of the cancer studies in humans, and that is currently the best evidence, uh, come from farmers and other professionals applying these in agriculture. It is certainly one of the most widely used herbicides and it exists in more than 750 different products uh, being used around the world. And it has more recently even increased in importance because it's used for gene-modified food. Uh, just simply said, the crops are made resistant to glyphosate and therefore glyphosate can be used widely for these gene-modified foods. So it's purely a scientific evaluation that it can cause cancer, probably carcinogenic in humans. And it's now to other regulatory national and international agencies to take our evaluation forward and turn it into risk assessment. I know that in Europe there is currently the process already in its final stages but not yet finalized uh, for the European Food and Safety Agency. So that talks about the glyphosate in food and the residues in food and uh, we will see how much they can still take our recent assessment into account for their recommendations. If you'd like to ask a question, go to the Euronews website or visit our social media pages.